Y'all sent me out there to die. Y'all sent me out there to die, and it's cool. Y'all wanted me to become a statistic. Because why the fuck did I just watch an old man with cancer tilt the fucking ocean? Nah, nah, nah. Everybody love Marine Ford. <laughs> it's the greatest war arc in anime. Nobody ever thinks about it from the perspective of a regular fucking Marine. Regular Marines are not supposed to be on this battlefield. And I learned that very early on when I saw a massive tidal wave coming at me and one soldier froze the bitch and I got caught in the attack. You see, you see, when I stepped on the battlefield, I'm thinking, oh, the heavy hitters gonna be fighting the heavy hitters and, you know, us common folk gonna be fighting the bullshit pirates. Nobody said anything about getting caught in a crossfire between two heavy hitters. I saw a man cut a glacier in half like it was a slice of cheese. You know how hard it is to fight when you gotta dodge a bunch of beams of light coming from the sky? I don't move at the speed of light. Some of my comrades, people that I've known since boot camp, training camp, got put in a pack for literally two seconds before they came back as zombies. And you would think all this damage is being done to us by the opposition, right? <laughs> no. No, it is not. I ain't even get to the pirates yet. All of this is being done to us by our side. By fucking warlords and admirals. These monsters, you would think they would have the common sense to not throw out ranged attacks knowing they got regular marines down here fighting with them. Speaking of warlords, why I land in the middle, like directly in the path of a former warlord, Crocodile, and a current warlord, Mihawk, Walking each other down. Like a final showdown. I'm not supposed to be in the middle of that shit. Fucking puppet masters and shit. Do Flamingo wanna be cutting off a giant's leg. And I got caught under the shit. It fucked up my leg. Messed my leg up, bro. I had to go run and save my little brother. And run away from all this danger on one leg. I watched like three Marines get melted alive. For wanting to go back to their families, bro. By our admiral. Bro, that's not even the only reason I didn't give up. Because I was gonna give up regardless. But then I looked up at the sky because I heard voices coming from the sky. Why I see a 17-year-old rubber monkey falling out of the fucking sky? Talk about I'm here to save you, bro. Do you know how disheartening it is for me to be a Marine who's gone through a whole training shit, regiment, all that, to watch a 17-year-old boy walk in a war and just start one-shotting giants? That kid needed to be drug tested. He had to be off something because he was fighting everybody. Everybody. He, he, he squared up with all three admirals at one point. I was like, yeah, he's bugging. For some reason, everybody wanted to help this motherfucker. Like, Whitebeard teamed up with him. The whole reason Crocodile and Mihawk were squaring up was for him. He even had Boa Hancock turning people into stone for him. Shit, he almost had me wanting to help him too. I know he the only reason I saved my brother because I fake was going to give up on him. But he motivated me a little bit, you know what I'm saying, to be a good big bro. Too bad his brother died. Shit, after Ace died... Why Whitebeard and the Kainu want to be going blow for fucking blow, destroying the whole island with every punch? Mind you, I still ain't tell you about what the pirates did, bro. Do you want to know why? Most of the bad shit that happened to me was because of my side. The most I had to worry about was a fiery bird in the sky. Because that's scary as shit. A phoenix in the sky? And you know he against you? That's scary as fuck. I mean, yeah, sure, it was a bunch of fodder pirates, but those is regular human being pirates. You know what I'm saying? I could square up with those. <laughs> that's what I signed up for. There also was that point in time where they was about to execute Ace the first time and the 17 year old kid knocked out half of the fucking Marines. I still don't know how he did that shit. Sometimes in life, you gotta just recognize that there are some people that are just built different. You know what I'm saying? And I realized I'm not one of them, <laughs> okay? Cause I watched a fucking clown get cut in half by the world's strongest swordsman and survive. I wasn't surviving that shit. Shit, after Whitebeard died? You would think that the, the fighting is over. You know what I'm saying? I survived. I get to go home. No, they wanted us to keep fighting. For what? It got so bad that one of us had to stand up to a Kainu. And I knew it wasn't going to be me. Some pig-headed kid was standing in front of him yelling, Oh, we already won. Senseless killing. And listen to me. A Kainu was about to put that man in a fucking pack. You think I'm playing? A Kainu really tried to kill him. Like, he backed out the magma fist and was going to kill that pink-headed marine. Until the pirate saved him. A pirate had to save a marine from his higher up. That's not helping our work ethic at all. Not just any pirate. An emperor of the sea. Red hair shanks. What am I doing out here? <laughs>